Okay, so this is a technique that we're using to calculate uh, pH of a solution during a titration. So oftentimes on the AP test or in chemistry, you're gonna be taking a solution and titrating it, and you have to figure out, well, what is the pH of this solution? Um, and there's a lot of stoichiometry involved, but what we're gonna to use today is something called a Rebecca chart or a BCA chart, which will help kind of simplify some of those um, processes and hopefully make the numbers more visible for everybody. So I have a solution of 0.15 molar HCl, 20 milliliters of this. I'm gonna titrate it with, let's say 23 milliliters of 0.10 molar NaOH. And to go about doing this, I first wanna see how the moles of each thing are re related to each other. So moles of HCl, take molarity times liters, so 0.15 molar times 0.020 liters, and that gives me 0 0.003 moles HCl. And then my moles of NaOH, I'm gonna take 23 milliliters, so 0 0.10 molar times 0.023 liters. And that is 0 0.0023 moles of NaOH. Okay, so now, what do I do? Well, I have moles of HCl, moles of NaOH. I wanna see how they react. Something's gonna get used up and then I got some stuff left over and I wanna figure out what my pH is gonna be. So I'm gonna set up something called a Rebecca chart. I'm gonna write the R stands for reaction. This is before, this is change and after. Similar to what we use an ice chart or a rice chart, um, in equilibrium, except this is with moles. So my reaction here, I have H plus and OH minus, sorry, that's gonna form water. And my H plus is coming from HCl. So I can see that HCl is 0.003 moles of this. My OH minus, is gonna be 0 0.0023 moles of this on water. I'm not really gonna care about water at all in this reaction, because all I care about is my ions. Okay, so make sure I have moles in my BCA chart. Um, what's gonna be my limiting reactant here? Which is gonna run out first? And you can see that this is smaller than this. Um, so I am gonna actually have all of this react so that I'm gonna go down by 0 0.0023 moles of this. This, because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, also 0 0.0023 moles of this. And so this drops down to zero, and this ends up being 0 0.0007 moles of this. Okay, this is H plus left over. Can I get the pH from this yet? Not quite. Because remember, the pH is equal to negative log of the concentration of H plus and not just the moles of H plus. The concentration of H plus, this thing here, oops, you can't see that. The concentration of H plus is moles of H plus over the liters of H, the liters of total solution. And the liters are gonna be my liters up here and my liters up here. Okay, so I'm gonna add those together. This ends up being 43 milliliters total solution or 0 0.043 liters. Well, now I can have my moles, 0 0.0007 moles of H plus over 0 0.043 liters. And I go ahead and do that. So 0 0.0007 divided by 0 0.043. And that ends up being 0 0.0163 molar H plus. And now my negative log of that, answer, 
And so negative log of this ends up being 1.79, and that's my pH. Okay, so you can see I added quite a bit of base to this. It did not change pH very much. It started off, it's still pretty low pH, but that's how you can use this to get the pH of a solution after titrating it. And you can do this also after the equivalence point. So if I have the same solution as before the HCl solution and I go past the equivalence point and I use 40 milliliters of 0.1 molar NaOH. So if I want to figure out the pH of this solution, it's the same process. We can just go ahead and I have my moles of HCl, which I calculated from before. Moles of NaOH, molarity times liters. So I have 0 0.004 moles of NaOH. And then if I use up, use my Rebecca chart, I can start off by saying I have H plus 0 0.003, OH minus is 0 0.004. And now what is my limiting reactant? Well, this one, I have less of, and therefore this one I'm gonna have totally disappear. So that becomes zero. I've used up all my H plus. OH minus, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so I can only go down by 0 0.003. So now this is 0 0.001 moles. And, and now this is what I'm gonna to use to calculate my pH. So my total volume, if you recall, I had, um, let's see, how much did I have before? I had 20 milliliters. I had 20 milliliters of the HCl. And I have 40 milliliters of NaOH. And so that is 60 milliliters total. And that's my total volume. Well, OH concentration now, this thing right here, is gonna be moles over liters. So it's 0 0.001 moles of NaOH or OH minus over 0 0.060. So you gotta take this and change it to liters. Okay, and so that gives me 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.060, 0 0.0167 molar OH minus. Well, from that, I can get the pOH. So if I take the negative log of that, of this 0 0.0167, that gives me 1.78. And from there, the pH is pretty Straightforward to calculate, the pH is 14 minus that. So 14 minus the answer, and that is 12.22. Okay, so that's past the equivalence point. And then what's at the equivalence point? Well, if it's a strong acid and strong base, it should be seven. So we're past higher than seven, and before we're below seven.